Uh, Patricia, can you kindly answer that? I have a client who's just talked to me. All right, so uh, Mark, uh, you're talking, you, you have a story and you'd want to publish. So I'm just going to take the story part and you'd want to publish. Can you confirm if that's right? Yes, yes, that's right. So the link that I've shared here, it will explain to you self-publishing procedure because you can decide to actually publish using the self-publishing or we have the traditional publishing that other publishers like Longhorn and Oxford are offering if you, you meet their theme of, of that year or the theme they're working on at that point in time. So let's talk about the Writers Guild self-publishing. If you have a story and you'd want us to publish, I would want you, I would like you to go through the link, um, use everything, did everything over there. You'll know the first stage will be evaluation of the manuscript. Once you've understood everything in regards to self-publishing, then we can start the process of now that self-publishing and the first process will be evaluation. Evaluation is where your work would be sent to, if it's the children, it will be sent to a specialist, somebody who understands children books and they'll do an evaluation of it and give you a report. A report determine if it's ready to be published or not. So that evaluation is to determine is your work ready to be published or not. So please go through our self-publishing procedure because or should you find something we, we can talk about this in detail because today we are just giving a sneak peek of everything. But when you find time, I, we can explain to you this one in details, which can be through a phone conversation or you can visit our offices and we can explain to you now this in details. But you would want to understand the self-publishing procedure of Writers Guild by clicking the link there. I've posted it of, um, in the chat section and reading everything in that. Is that okay now? Yes, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. Uh, I can see Valerie, you had raised your hand. Uh, yeah, I, my question was, um, what kind of books do you publish in fantasy? If like, if I had written a book that talks about um, Nairobi as it is now, maybe a romance, um, is, can that still qualify as a African book? When we say African books, we don't mean just anything to do with the tradition, customs, and culture. No, it means the people, the African authors telling the, their stories, the African stories in their own way. So as you're writing the romance of Nairobi, I'm very sure you write our romance in Nairobi style and everything, sharing how we would uh, like um, we would go to Huru Park and just sit there and eat, share the ice cream, that the one ice cream me and you sharing it together. So I'm very sure if you're writing a romantic, you're writing it in that manner of an ordinary Kenyan and stuff like that. But when we say African, we don't be emphasizing on the African authors. So don't worry, it's just the African authors. How you tell your story is really up to you. Have that answered your question? Hi, Ivy. Yeah, it has. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want to introduce our, um, uh, since we are running out of time, we really wanted this to end at 11. Uh, I want to introduce our CEO, um, uh, Mr. Gabriel Dinda talk about um, the history of writers. So over to you, Bana Gabriel. Thank you. Thank you very much, Patricia. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here. I would just wish to confirm whether you can hear me, because I'm in a place where my network is not very stable. So can you hear me very well? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. 
Wow. Thank you, thank you. So if uh, for some reason I drop off, there is, um, I'm in Kisumu in, an, in a, an activity that I will tell you about regarding reading and writing. So there is a program called Imara Fellowship that is run by three organizations. And uh, they are trying to teach uh, young people to be involved in policy writing and policy implementation. So I am here to take them through the role of books and the role of writing and the role of reading in formulating and implementing policy. So that's why I'm here. And uh, yeah, so my network is not very strong. I hope you understand it, it breaks. So I would wish to give you a brief history of Writers Guild. And uh, I had wanted to ask, though I see we only have 12 minutes, and I would wish to, to do my presentations within that. Um, so the idea of Writers Guild uh, was started sometime in 2012 and 2013. I say sometime because it was a buildup of, it was not one instance that led to it. At first it started from me and I was feeling that uh, I had a story to write or I had a story to, I, I, when I was reading books, when I was reading, um, especially Gugi Wadiongos, eh, The River Between, I felt that I can write such a thing. I can write something like this, a story like this, but in my context. So I wrote one called um, The Call at Dawn. Uh, then I, so I thought I, could, I had more to write. So every other thing that happened to me, I, I had the desire to write it. Uh, then, uh, now I was faced with the next challenge. <laughs> I thought I was very good. So I will read the Daily Nation, especially the Saturday magazine. So I read the Daily Nation and then I pick some keywords, some phrases, then I check them out and then I ensure I involve them or I use them in my writing. But then I needed a platform that could help me become better as a writer. Not that I wanted to study literature, no. I just wanted to study what I was studying, which was finance, but then still grow in my writing. So I started looking for a platform. So I went for, I was in KU at the time. I went to journalism club in Kenyatta University. And my first impression of them was not very good. I found them a bit disorganized. They said they, 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 the event would start at 7.30 p.m. It started at around 8.30. They were in, uh, you know, they were disorganized eh? in my view at the time. Well, then I went to the literature department and asked if they had any other club. They told me they had other clubs, but they fell. And they, they were, the clubs were not functioning at the time. Then I went to the nation. Yeah? I went to Nation Media and asked if they had any platform that could help me grow as a writer, even as I was doing other things, as I was studying other units. They told me they didn't have, they told me they have something called Media Lab that was focused on getting nine journalists who would be trained to write for the media. Uh, then I went to Editors Guild and asked whether they had any programs that would help uh, to, you know, to grow writers who are starting out like me. They didn't have. So they said they, most of their work involves advocacy and uh, fighting for the rights of editors and free press. I went to Longhorn publishers and asked if they had any of such programs. I was told they didn't have. Then uh, through a friend of mine called Mr. Monari, who was in KU, I was introduced to a gentleman called Mr. Kinyanjui Kombani. And when I went to Kombani, first thing was to present to him the manuscript that I'd written so that he could help me take it to target publishers to help publish it. And then the second thing was to ask him whether I was involved in any programs that could help me grow as a writer. Uh, he didn't, he, at the time, there was no such a program. So I told him that I think I want to start a program that can help people uh, to grow in writing and encourage reading and not necessarily having to pursue literature as a course. Uh, yeah, so in between there was some kind of back and forth, uh, but a lot of praying you know, for God to help me here. So at the time, I called it Writers Academy. So I prayed a lot about it and then consulted where I could start. 
And the only logical way to start was to start as a club, a student club. So on 16th of June, 2014, I called my friends, those who were close to me at the time, and invited them and called them and told them that to join me in this Writers Academy. So we had that meeting at Kenyatta University, and then that started the journey. So when we had the first meeting, we had also applied to be registered as a club. We were soon registered. Then we started, we opened a Facebook page, uh, then started doing activities. So the first activity we did was called To Juane, where we were just getting to know each other. And then, you know, that went from one activity to another. Then we launched a magazine called All Senses Magazine in 2014. And uh, it was launched by Kenyan Jui Kombani on 13th of September, 2014. That was our first, um, our first product, so to say. So we were writing in magazines and meeting every Tuesday um, uh, to discuss writing books and encourage each other. Um, yeah, that went in 2014. That is when I met Mary. Mary Adiambo is here now, who is the bookshop manager. So we met in 2014 through those writers meetings. And also that is how I met Patricia. Uh, Patricia was in South Africa at the time and uh, she was the one managing our communication. So our Facebook was very active. We would do everything and then Patricia would help us with the social media. So 2015, uh, you know, the discussion expanded. Eh? We got a call from Mombasa through a gentleman called Charles Musilanga to go and train them on writing. We got a call from Moe University through Becca William to go and train them on writing. So we got inspired that oh, this thing can be work is working. Uh, so 2014, we tried to expand a bit. We went to Mombasa, Eldoret, Egerton, you know, just trying with this message of reading and writing. Uh, then 2015, we now formalized the program, called it something called Cocktail. So we would go to a university and then meet the writers there, meet other entrepreneurs and young people doing good things and encourage them to write about them. That was 2015. 2016, now after graduating from Kenyatta University, and also getting an award called Top 25 Under 25, it became more like a national movement. Uh, so we, we got our offices at I and M building, uh, I've founded an activity called Writers Evening Lounge or Writers Ecclesia, where we would meet every week in town and then discuss writing, invite other people to just beef up this communication and this uh, idea of reading and writing. So that was 2015 at Iron Dam Building. Then 2016, uh, we moved to ICA and then uh, started offering writing. Now, the first people who had joined our Writers Guild were now mature. Munira Hussein, uh, Douglas Logedi, Denis Oday, they, are, they were now mature. So they had ready manuscripts and they wanted to go out there. We introduced some to our partner publishers like Longhorn. Some have since published there. And then in 2016, we got a partner from Germany called Elimu Inayo Kuza Mendeleo, which helped us to publish our first book called Through the Journey of Hope. We launched it on 16th June. Uh, no, on 24th June, 2016, uh, at Iron Dam Building. And then uh, after that, now people are coming to us eh, with saying that I have a manuscript. I saw you published a book. Please help me publish. So that we were bothered for some time until in 2017, we started a self-publishing unit to help respond to this need. And then so we published our first book called Me Versus Me, Conversations with My Tomorrow. Uh, then we published Hey You by Dennis. Then we continued publishing, publishing books, Nafisa's book, um, Unbroken Wings, Nafisa Can Buy. Yeah, so we kept publishing books. So we opened our publishing unit. So now we had the open access events like Ecclesia or other partner events that we were organizing. And then now we had the self-publishing unit. Then in 2018, there, is, there was a discussion that started. We needed to have an academy where we would teach people. So you see like the question Ivy asked about fantasy writing. So we can just have five days or five sessions or five modules teaching people about fantasy writing. So we needed to set up an academy. So we started working on it. And in 2019, we realized it in partnership with Strathmore University when we started 
holding our courses, our trainings in Strathmore. Uh, so that is when we started what is called Write Your Passion. And then later on, we started Write Ignition and then Teens Write. And then we hope to, you know, to keep going with the program. Okay. So that was 2018. Uh, in 2019, we focused more on um, uh, lifelong learning. So helping our writers to be to, to learn as they keep writing. Uh, then 2019, 2020, then now we get into, um, we've published books, we have our authors, we have our partners with museum, many organizations we've partnered with, we are doing different things. Some of our writers have won awards. The word is out there. People are embracing reading and writing. So in 2020, uh, then now we are faced with the challenge of distribution of books. We, we have many books we've published. They are scattered. We have a link in our website, someone can buy but then we don't have a dispatch center. So then we come and uh, after some process, we open our bookshop in town. So we move our office from Strathmore. Now we had moved from ICA to Strathmore then from Strathmore now to town. And now uh, put our office as also a bookshop where you can come and buy a book. So that is the brief journey, but there are many details in between. What has remained the same from the beginning to the end? This history, many things have changed. We have started new programs, started publishing units, but what has remained the same? That is our values as writers get. And that is, what I would, that is what I would wish to finish with. So one, when we started, um, our idea, sorry, our idea was to, to use, to serve God and serve humanity through the pen or through writing or through reading. So that has remained the same. So our, we look at Writers Guild as a chance to serve the other person. Or we look at Writers Guild as a chance to serve God or to offer uh, our skills and our talents to God. So that has remained the same. And then all along, what has remained the same is the family spirit in Writers Guild. Florence mentioned it. We don't consider you our client or our writer, no, you are our family member. And that's why we want to make it very clear. Before you join us, you know what to expect of us, you know what, to, what we expect of you. So that when you join us, you help make our family better. So the family spirit has remained this, has remained. Yesterday I was speaking with a lady called Paulette, who was the programs manager in Writers Guild in 2018, 2019, but she's now doing something else. So when I was coming to Kisumu, I asked her whether she's around, if we could meet, because she's always in Kisumu. Uh, and she told me, she, well, we, we talked, and, and then one of the things that came out <laughs> was she was just telling me how uh, serving in Writers Guild gave her a different perspective. So she tells me where she works now, she says sometimes she feels unjust to them because most of the things that she's doing, she borrowed or she got from Writers Guild. So it has helped her to serve. Yeah. And then she was telling me an experience where uh, she started serving people water, just water. And then one of the ladies commented and said, who are you? We are just part of this program. We just came. Where do you get this courage to serve? <laughs> so she told me she got that courage from Writers Guild. So that has remained the same. And then the third thing, and the last that has remained the same is called trial and error. So for Writers Guild, we, we, we look at what we are doing as a marathon, not as a sprint, like the president said. In fact, he stole the words from our mouth. Um, so we look at it as a, as a marathon. So we want to do our best every day, even if it is little, but pole pole, pole pole, but every day we do our best. And we hope that ultimately we will live a sustainable organization that 200 years to come will grow writers, encourage people to read and write, and then grow people who can serve God and humanity. So those are the three aspects that have remained the same in Writers Guild all through. So when you come in, just know that that is what you are inheriting, but you're not just inheriting that, to, you know, to have a treasure. No, no, no. You are inheriting that to make it better, 
you are inheriting that to make your contribution. So you are coming in to, you know, to, to learn, to serve, to learn to love God and humanity through your own ways and through the different ways that we do. And you are coming in to try your best every day in your little ways. And also you are coming in to, you know, to be a friend to someone, to be a family member. We are inviting you to this family so that you can, you know, we can grow together. So that has been the journey of Writers Guild, but there are so many details in between, so many details, so many programs, so many activities in between, most of which you will just know when you come, you will experience them. Okay? Sometimes in writing, you will get to learn something called show, don't tell. So when we tell you that these are family, you know, it, it, it achieves 10% of what we want to achieve. But if I show you that this is a family, it achieves 90%. So that is the that has been the journey of Writers Guild. But with time, you'll get to learn more. You'll get to, you know, to, to learn more of what we have, uh, the steps we have made in Writers Guild. What is our preoccupation now? What are we, what are we focused on now? Right now, we are focused on three things currently. We are focused on three things. One <laughs> is training and mentorship. So we have different programs uh, that Patricia always conducts. We have uh, many programs, many activities. And from them, we hope that they can achieve the goal of training you to write in whichever field that you've chosen and uh, mentoring you or helping you to do what you want to do. And the mentorship is not something that is done by people from mass. We do it. So Afula and Maxwell, you mentor each other. So you come to Writers Guild not to receive, but you come also to give, of course, and receive in the process. So right now we are preoccupied by training and mentorship. That is something that we are very keen on and our programs revolves around that. Then the second thing that we do is we are very, uh, we are preoccupied with quality. So we're trying our best to do, we have started writing, we have written, maybe you've written a book, um, but what, what better can you do? What, what else can you do? So I don't know if you realize that during writing, uh, writing competitions, uh, you know, we, we, know, we normally don't have Kenyans. In. So you'll have a list of 10, a long list. I was seeing one yesterday, a long list of 20. You see just one Kenyan. So, you know, just to improve on what we deliver or to improve on our writing. Yeah, so we are preoccupied with that. And then the, the, sec, the third one is we are preoccupied with taking the word out there. Mm -hmm. So what is called lobbying and advocacy. Mm -hmm. Today, there are many libraries. Uh, one of our writers called Sahara, she was telling me of the situation in Mandera. There are many libraries which don't have books. Yet, there are many schools that have something called academic fire. So they burn books publicly and celebrate. Now we want you to be the bridge between the two. Why can't you take books from here and take them to the other? But not just take books, help read, help read with them. You know, take the reading out there, take the writing skill out there. You have something to offer. Now today you, you probably don't know that Kenya is among the only three countries in the world, in the world that taxes paper and paper products. One of such countries is Haiti. Kenya and another country, I forget its name. Now we need, as writers and readers, we need to advocate, we need to persuade the government to see that you can't tax knowledge because that is what runs the world. We need to make, book, to make, make books available. Yesterday, a gentleman called Ken was asking me that why are Kenyan books so expensive? Would you believe that you can get a used clean book in the US, if you have 100 shillings, eh? if you have 100 shillings, you can get 100 books used but clean in the US. That means one book is one shilling, more or less. That is not the case here. 
here books are a bit expensive because paper, the paper is very expensive and the process itself. So we need to lobby the government. We need to advocate for reading and writing. But even before then, we need to be serious with it ourselves first, even before we go out there. So that is the third preoccupation. We want you to take the word out there. We want you that this joy that you've received of reading and writing. I met a friend when I came called Dora, Dora Okeo. <laughs> She's written a book called Sifuna. You will find it in the bookshop soon. Uh, I met her yesterday and at the reception, just signing in in the hotel. And um, <laughs> uh, you know, in the process of her just taking off her bag, a book fell. I said, I love that, I love that. You need to carry a book everywhere you go. Yeah, but first we need to, what is the importance of reading? How does reading make me a better person? So we need to take the word out there. So those are the three things that we are currently focusing on. And uh, we, we are inviting you to inherit and then make it better. So that is it for me for today regarding the journey of Writers Guild. Quite interesting. You can check our YouTube. You will find some few videos, the, just giving you a picture of our journey. You can, I can share some articles that have been written in the media um, or have been written about us. You can check, you can just get to, to learn more so that you truly know what you are getting into. We don't want unmatched expectations. Eh? If I told you that we, let's meet in Kericho, but then you hear it as let's meet in Nakuru, you wait for me in Nakuru, you know, the expectation is unmatched. So know what you're coming into. That's why we have this orientation before you sign the commitment letter to be part of Writers Guild. So welcome to Writers Guild. Let us build on this history and let us make the journey of Writers Guild more pleasant and most of all, sustainable for the years to come. So thank you very much. Over to you, Patricia. <laughs> Thank you very much, over to you, Patricia. Thank you so much, Gabriel, for summarizing all this and letting the new members know about Writers Guild and where we come from. Um, any question for right for Gabriel? All right. Uh, Mark has raised uh, the hand. Go ahead, Mark. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Gabriel, uh, I'm uh, I'm extremely excited. You know, even if I've not met you in person, but I'm I'm in a meeting uh, with you. You know, you are one of the greatest influential uh, people in literature in Kenya. Yes. Uh, my question to you is, uh, you know, as much as your, your organization is helping the writers, you have uh, included a part in which that which come out as one of the most, uh, as number one in your vision is to serve God. <clears throat> and uh, I would like you to consider making the organization an all inclusive organization uh, because we have people who do not believe in God. We have people who are not Christian, they are neither Muslims, they are neither Buddhists, they are just there, uh, like myself. And uh, I feel that if the organization is towards something uh, supernatural, it might be an inconvenience for someone like me to be in that organization whose purpose is, uh, is something that I'm not aligned with. Yes. Yeah. So that is, that is my question, uh, or rather a concern. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, thank you very much, Mark, for the very kind words. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that um, one of the most influential people in Kenya regarding literature, but what I know is that we try our best every day. That I know. But as regards to the influence, that is good. <laughs> regarding the vision or regarding one of the values of Writer's Guild being the desire to get close to God or the Supreme Being, first, I sincerely believe, I sincerely believe, and this is personal, that Writer's Guild, I didn't found Writer's Guild. Uh, Writer's Guild was entrusted to me by God. So that's why all in all our the places where we write the history of Writer's Guild, we say it was founded by God's inspiration. And uh, that's why you will see that in the admission cards or the when we give you the admission numbers, we will start from number two, not number one. So we will start from number two because we believe number one is God. <laughs> the first member of Writer's Guild is God. So this is the belief of the founders of Writer's Guild. We don't push it down your throat. <laughs> Writer's Guild will believe in freedom. You are free. You are free. So this is, this is an ideal that we live by, but it is it, it will not in any way, you know, the experience of God and supernatural being is an individual one. Yeah? And this is a group. Writer's Guild is, an, as a, as a, is a group. So there is no way we will push it down your throat, but this is just an ideal that we live by, a belief that we have. So uh, it, I don't, it is not uh, an inconvenience in any way because it will not come at any point. It is an individual experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that is it. So it is not, um, uh, it is just the same way. Um, let's say the constitution is written that, um, I think the first line is something to do with, the, with um, you know, giving reverence to God. It is, you know, the founders, that is the ideal, that is the belief. But it doesn't mean that if you don't believe in God, you can't live in Kenya because it is written in the constitution, no. So that is the same case. We believe in freedom. We believe you, it is between you and whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in. So that is you. That is your assignment that is given to all of us. So Writer's Guild will not intervene, but that is just, that is an ideal that we live by because we believe uh, God founded it and entrusted it to us. And that's why Writer's Guild is a trust. It is not a company. It is a trust. So it was entrusted to us, and we also entrust it to other people for posterity. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank, thank you, Mr. Gabriel. Uh, yes, that answers my question. And uh, as you have said, uh, you are not pushing it down our throats, you know, to believe in God or so. It is just an ideal. So that allows me to, to feel at home. Yeah. Uh, and anyone else who might have uh, the same uh, ideals as me, you know. Mm -hmm. so, uh, thank, thank you. Thank you for that answer. Terrible, terrible. Any, any other question or concern? If we had time, and if this was physical, I would have asked you to, you know, to do a simple activity. Just ask, tell us what you've heard about Writers Guild out there. Yeah. <laughs> what you've heard about Writers Guild. So many people have heard different things. Eh? Maybe I can, I can finish with that. What have you heard about Writers Guild out there? There was one time, <laughs> there was one time uh, a gentleman who came to me called Billy and told me something very interesting. Told me that, hey, Gabriel, uh, we met. Eh? So he had heard something about Writer's Guild and then we met. It's, ah, so you're Gabriel, you're part of Writer's Guild. Ah, okay. <laughs> then he said, you know, I was told that when I come to Writer's Guild, when I join as a, writer, as a member of Writer's Guild, you know, then I'll just find myself authoring books, yani, it is more like, uh, 
it is transmitted. So when you're in writer's guild, you just find yourself writing. Hello. Sorry, I think we lost I Gabriel. I was the only one who lost Gabriel. Okay. Uh, I think he's back. Gabriel, are you able to proceed? Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, um, I got disconnected. But I hope now it's uh, I am back. Anyway, I'd finished. I was just asking if you what you've heard about Writers Guild. So maybe you can type that in the chat as we pro, as we proceed with the with the as Patricia guides us on the next step. But I've finished. So that's it. You will experience the journey, the history, and the joy of Writers Guild when you become a member. So thank you very much for your time and for the interest to be part of us. Thank you so much. Now, um, your membership will start in January. So today it was just to you, for you to familiarize with Writers Guild Kenya and understand if I need this, where should I go to? Of course, you come, sometimes you'll come Writers Guild itself and that, but it, it will be much easier if you know the department you need help from that it's easier for you to not be moved from one place to another. Yes, go to that place and ask for the help that you need or what you need at that stage. So um, membership will start on in January next year. But as the membership is going on, you can start doing your payment. Um, most of you are affiliates and beginners and I'm going to explain that shortly. And we are going to do a commitment. Um, you, you're going to sign a commitment form. And then uh, after you've done paying the membership, you're going to receive a certificate. And this certificate will be there in January. We'll be issuing out this certificate in January. So the whole of January month will be issuing out the membership certificate. Now, I want to share my screen. Now, the membership cycle growth, or the growth cycle, I mean. So most of the people, as you come here, 
uh, I want to tell you from the word go that we are not magician. So we, are not, we don't have a broom somewhere that we are going to use and all of a sudden you'll become the best writers of our time. No, but we have things that you can do. And if you look at the cycle, you'll know the things that you can do. So really, what are you supposed to do as a member? Try to read for at least 30 minutes. Some of us have dedicated reading several chapters. Um, write at least 500 words. Uh, this you can make like a target. So if you don't try today, make sure today, tomorrow, you can decide how many words I want. So it can be 500, it can, it can be 1,000. Read materials by Writers Guild, by member of Writers Guild and share feedback with the member. Also, sometimes you're going to be two of you together, so you can exchange ideas, you can exchange materials or blogs or links, and you read and ex uh, share the feedback with each other. Share a growth opportunity with the other members. So it will, at the end of the day, we want all of us to grow. And you cannot grow when you're walking alone. You can grow when you're working with other people who can guide you, who can critique you and everything. So if you have any opportunity that you feel like I would want, this opportunity will help somebody out there, please share it. Most people have really grown from the opportunities or their, their careers in writing or their growth in writing grown massively when they got into, when they share, they went in uh, and they saw an opportunity and went for it. So that's what you can do daily. Uh, you can add more things that you can do daily. So this is not going to be just something for us. It's going to be us and you. So we are going to hold each other's hand. Weekly, you're going to attend a uh, ecclesia. This will be an event organized by Writers Guild. So for an event organized by Writers Guild, try, try your best because we go to all extent to make sure we have the best guests coming in and training you on one thing or another. Try your best to attend this um, special session. They'll help you learn and grow. Reach out to your mentor, mentee, or a growth partner. You'll have either a growth partner, you'll have somebody who is a mentee, somebody whom you are growing, who is looking up to you. So try to reach out to them and see how far they are in their journey. You'll check the Writers Guild notice board for updates. Somewhere in the website, we are going to put a notice board so that you can be checking for updates. Monthly, um, I think also after two weeks, we, all, we always have the, uh, the book, um, reading the book club with Zini as our partner. If you are anywhere in Nairobi, please try to attend that one also. We'll try and see how we can make sure even people from other counties can attend it. Monthly review the book read. So this is another way of you growing. So, and you don't read the book for the, just for the purpose of reading. You read it knowing that at the end of this, I have to review it. I have to share what I learned. Attend a, uh, a book club session. So you can attend, we have so many book club discussions going on or reading discussion going on. You can check out the AMCA forum and other things. And you can check out other reading discuss discussions going on and you can try to attend it. Check out in a, a partner event. So most of the time we plan events with our partners. Please, sometimes we don't have even people to come and volunteer. This is another way for you to come and volunteer. As you look into being an author, as you look into growing as a writer, come and volunteer, come and, and attend these events with us. Come and show us that you're a Writers Guild member and talk to people about Writers Guild apply for writing opportunities. So we have the writing retreats and workshops and we'll be sharing some of those opportunities. Please apply for them. Visit the Writers Guild bookshop. It's at Azina Towers. When you get time, kindly visit. Quarterly, in reading or writing 
drive to share the knowledge with others. That's also something that we, we can share in the notice board if we have any drive going on. But if you also know of any other uh, reading or writing drive going on, you can join them. You can organize a reading pattern session whereby you go back to your high school and um, read to them about something. You can borrow books, you can plan for, initially we had people who would partner with us and they'll give us books, but since COVID strike, we, we didn't have books. But let's see how next year will be. And, but you can try and organize for a reading session in your former school, both either high school or uh, primary or both. Engage in a non-writing or reading charity event. We have a lot of charity events going on. So this would be away from writing, but it can give you the inspiration to write something. So attend some of these events that are going to help you give back to the community humanistic approach that we always try to advocate for. So attend some of this. Yearly publish a book or equivalent according to the target. So you can decide to publish a book, but some people, maybe their yearly plan is to write for, that, for a newspaper like Nation Standard and stuff. So you can tell, you can decide what your target is. Some go for publishing a book and I've seen some doing it very well. So you can decide what is your target. Take part in the programs offered by Writers Guild. So we offer several programs at Writers Guild. We have Write Your Passion course and we have Write Ignition course and we have Business Writing for Professions. So you can attend some of these courses or programs. As a member of Writers Guild, we always have a small discount for you. So. Uh, except for write ignition, but for write your passion and other ones, we always have the, the, a small discount for you as the member of Writers Guild. We always have also programs that Writers Guild are done with partners out there. So you'll like how to optimize your LinkedIn, um, how to write good emails to clients, so these are also programs that you can, it, it is always like a training that happens maybe for one day. So it's not something that will you'll commit to for the whole three weeks or four weeks up at night, something that you just happens on one day and it's done. Should this happen, we'll let you know. Attend a writer's retreat or residency. We have some writing residencies uh, that you can apply to and attend. And I would really, really encourage you to this opportunity to look for residencies and retreats of writers that are in Kenya so that you can meet other writers that can challenge you, that can help you grow and um, make sure you reach your targets or even pass your target. So welcome Writers Build Kenya. You've taken a very good step on becoming our member. And we would want you, we would want all of us to grow together. And we can only grow together when we hold each other's hand. So feel free to call at Writers Build and tell them I'm struggling with this kind of writing. Is there any advice you can give me? Try to attend the events that we plan. Try to join the book clubs that we have organized out there so that you put in some effort for you to grow as a writer. You'll have to put in some effort. You'll have to sacrifice so much and nobody should come to me telling me we don't have time. Usually all of us don't have time, but make create time. When it comes to writing, if you are disciplined, you're going to create time for it. So Karibu Sana, let's learn, let's grow. And I hope um, next year, even March, you're not the same. You're showing some progress. You're, you're proud to like say, this is my target and I have to work towards this target. So welcome here and Thank you so much for also creating time. I now open the floor for questions.
also Gabriel has posted the commitment form. Uh, if you can, please download it. Okay. okay. Could you have any other questions? Um, like you did not understand one part and or when you go down to review the recording there is one thing that you feel like you missed you are free to call light has built from 9 a.m to 5 p.m so that you can ask whatever it is that you wanted some clarification on any question Oh, just a moment, I'll post the commitment form. Uh, so, sorry, Patricia, I just thought I would uh, maybe just weigh in on regarding the commitment form. So after you, we have tried to explain everything and given you a chance to ask a question, so now the next step from here is uh, to make payment, to make payment. Uh, and if you are joining the, the January intake, then Patricia will give us the deadline after upon which you must have made payment or you, you, know, you, you can have a special arrangement with Patricia. Maybe you can say that I'll make payment in, in two months, one half, half, so you can, once you, that is done and you've made the payment for the membership for the category that you applied for, then we will send you the commitment form. Then you sign it. So I just thought I could just project it so that you can see it or Patricia will project it so that you can see it. It is just the same thing as Patricia has explained. And then you just sign that now you commit to uh, adhere to what we, what we have guided and also we commit to support you in that. And then after that, after the commitment, then now that commitment is what we use to now process your certificate of membership. Then now your membership starts. So the, 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 the step after this is you make the payment now if you, would, if you are still happy to proceed. If you are not happy to proceed, maybe you had the, what we do and it doesn't align to what you had expected, then you can drop off at this point. But if you'd wish to proceed, you make the payment for the year, and then uh, we, we, we once you've made the payment, and then we proceed from there. So after making the payment, then you will be sent the commitment form. You sign it, we sign it, and then it is filed, and then uh, we process your certificate of membership, and then your membership starts. And remember, when when you will be applying for renewal for membership, we will evaluate what you have done within the year. And that is when we will either grant for you to renew your membership or ask you to, uh, you know, to, 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 to uh, you know, to stop being a member of Writers Guild. If we feel that what we offer and uh, your commitment doesn't align, then we'll tell you, uh, thank you, it's been a good time. So what you will do within the year is what we will use to determine whether we will proceed with you after a year. Uh, can I also add something quick, Patricia, before you resume? Yeah. Okay. So um, I think this is a philosophy we had from the time we founded Writers Guild that we call marathon runners runners because they run. Like that's something they do consistently. You will only be a writer if you consistently write. Don't write once a month. Don't write once every two months and call yourself a writer. Even if you're attending all our events and doing this and doing that, your main core, your core business here is to write. So we really look forward to seeing like every one of you submit an article or even a paragraph, something for us every week to discuss about, to see, because here you have access to like editors, like someone can have a look at your work, either your mentee or me or Florence can look at your work and tell you how to improve. And we are offering you like our, our website to post your work if you don't have one. And we're offering you our social media challenge, channels to share your work if you already have a blog. So we definitely expect to see 
a lot of writing because that is our core business. You cannot call yourself a writer if you write once a year or twice a year. Yeah, that's all I had. Uh, thank you, Mary. Um, so the commitment letter will be after the payment and then you, you are sent to it. You'll be sent one, your copy. Or does Writers Guild provide or have access to editing and proofreading service? So editing and proofreading is among our publishing packages. So Writers Guild has provided that and I've posted our link to our publishing um, page here among our publishing packages. You can decide to pick one service or you can decide to go with everything there. I'll repost the link here, Paul. Paula. So if there is no question, uh, we will, Gabriel, unless you have something we, or any. Uh, hello? Yes, Mark. Yes. Uh... Sorry if I if I seem to have a lot of a lot of things to say. <laughs> I can see a lot of uh, new people who are joining your your organization don't have uh, as many questions as I have. But uh, I have been wanting to write for a long time, and I I don't have anyone you know to 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 guide me or to help me. And I found your organization, so I have a lot of questions, and I have a lot of expectations from from you uh, on how to help me to achieve my dream. So one, one of the things that I want to ask is, uh, this membership that you are talking about, uh, how much will it cost? Because on your website, there are different kind of membership. And when you are talking, I don't really know what, what kind of membership you are talking about and uh, what kind of benefits. Uh, will uh, a new member get? And uh, how will you help the writer? So may maybe you talked about this before I joined, but I, I, I would just like to, to know more information about what kind of membership you are really talking about and uh, about the cost, you know, the money and everything like that. So Mark, there is a link I've just um, posted right now in the chat section, which has all the memberships of Writers Guild. And that's why it was important for you to actually, when you're filling the form, it was important for you to have gone through the membership so that you see which one suits you. Uh, because you are the only person that knows yourself very well. So you'll know if you fall under the affiliate beginner, which pays 1,500, this is a yearly fee. Or, and you'll know who is an affiliate beginner. They have passion in writing, but hasn't started out yet. So if all of these things are in the website. So most of the members that filled the form were in affiliates and intermediate affiliate, which means if you are intermediate, you're paying 3000, which is 30 US dollars. Or if you're the affiliate beginner, you're paying 1500. I've just reposted the link again, just in case you'd want to go through it slowly and properly so that you digest everything and understand which membership will suit you, uh, will suit you the best.
Is that okay, Max? Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I understand now. All right. Um, So I would like to hear from the final words from each and everybody. Of course, I know we have few, uh, some people who are joining in now. Um, the deadline for the paying membership fee will be, I'm looking at the calendar so that I don't end up giving you a wrong date, will be the 17th of December this month. That will be the deadline for now paying um the membership fee now i'd like to hear from all of you as we just say the final word because we've actually gone beyond the time so patricia by your permission allow me to answer paula regarding the how mentors are allocated. First, uh, it is good to remember or to come with the idea of service in mind. So we serve each other and it is a two way. So come ready to mentor someone with the little knowledge that you have. Mentorship does not just mean, um, you know, just telling people wisdom and eh? telling them do this, 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 do this, no, no, no. Sometimes also even means listening and uh, going together out there to say, I don't know, you don't know, so let's try and research. You ask, I ask, we meet next week and discuss. So first, the first idea is come ready to make a contribution to someone else's writing journey or someone else's journey. Now, how are mentors located? We depend on members. We depend on our members currently. So we always make it open. We ask them, who would wish to be a mentor hmm, to, you know, to, to someone else? So maybe they've been in writer's guild for a year, they would wish to mentor someone. So then it is allocated that way. So we try to, to pair people who are having common interest. So if, for instance, you are, you are a nonfiction writer and uh, your specific genre is in one area, then we try to put it together. That is one way. Another way which we highly encourage is that when you attend these our writers meetings, this writers ecclesia, you can connect with someone, click with someone, and then maybe you can make the request, would you be my mentor? Or can we walk together with you? And then you just tell us that so-and-so will be my mentor. And then we just update it in our records. So those are the two ways. We encourage you to try and get one within the Writers Guild community. And then we just, those are the ones we have seen work best. The ones, sometimes when we allocate, then maybe you get someone you are not very interested in or you are not very keen to work with, sometimes it collapses. But the ones that are, that come out naturally, the ones, they are the ones that thrive most. So we ask you to explore the first option. Within the first month you are in Writers Guild, should that not work for you, then now we, we ask someone to, you know, to, to work with you. So mentors do not look at it as, this is someone greater than me, this is, no, no, no. We are, we are just trying to help each other grow. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Uh, so I'll go back to people just saying their final words and um, as we close the meeting. So I'll start with Dr. Genuine. Hi, everyone. Um, I'd like to thank Writers Guild for um, this session and mostly giving us the opportunity and a platform for which we can improve. Um, the membership requirements 
pose a challenge to each one of us. So it, it, it requires all of us to put our best foot forward, to pull up our socks and, and kind of do more than what we're already doing. And that's something I love about the membership. And speaking of service, I, I believe that service to man is also indirectly service to God. And that is what I aim to do even as I improve my, my writing career. And I, I'm, I'm glad that I can be a part of Writers Guild. Thank you so much. And I look forward to many more sessions like this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Janine. Uh, I'll go to Edward. Hello, uh, my name is Edward, and uh, I hope you won't mind. I'm going to use some real Swahili because I'm a Swahili writer. So <laughs> I think each and every person, uh, you know, will understand it. Oh, let's speak out. Okay. Ena mba kongea kwa kiswahili tafadhali. Ni ni fahari kubwa kukutana nanyi leo na nimefurahikia sana hili jambo la kukutana. Ila nina maneno mawili ya kuongea. Na mimi ni mfasi mkubwa sana wa Professor Abdullah Abdullah, yeye ni professor anafundisha ya Marekani huko. Anasema kwamba safari ya uandishi ni ndefu. Kwa hivyo safari bado ni ndefu, wasafiri tusichoke na tusiwe madhaifu twendeni tusichoke. Tusafiri bila hofu wenye nazo ziwatoke huu ndio mwanzo wake sio mwisho wa safari kwa hivyo waandishi wenzangu safari ya kuandika ni ni safari ndefu sana na watu wa Kiswahili wanasema hatua hatua yaani safari kuanza kwa hatua moja nayo hatua ndogo ni kubwa safari ya waandishi ni ngumu ni ya kusonga mbele na kuanguka pia miba ya sumu itakudunga na viatu kuisha soli utapita kwenye misitu mirefu na kutishiwa na wanyama pori ila kumbuka kwamba kusafiri ni lazima liwe lolote litakalokuwa ije lolote litakalokuja kwa hivyo <laughs> asante sana sina maneno mengi na watakia heri njema kwenye hatua zenu za kila siku asante zaidi mimi ni Edward Mbui mwandishi wa kitabu kinaitwa Mwangu wa Maisha Asante sana Edward Edward naye atakuwa na wa atakuwa katika zile klesha za Kiswahili. Mtakuwa mnakutana naye kule wakati wa Kiswahili. Asante bwana Edward. Uh, Mark over to you. Hmm. As we wait for Mark Maxwell. Okay, Omondi. I believe it's Omondi Kite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, believe you me, the short stint that we've had, the one and a half hours or so, I've uh, grasped uh, something so clear about uh, about writing and uh, and reading. And I really, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for this session. And uh, something that I'm really intrigued about uh, WGK is that uh, the vision and the foundation is uh, founded on God. You believe in God. Thank you, thank you so much and uh, God bless you. Thank you so much, Omondi, and thank you for attending. Uh, Paula, if you can say something. Yeah, good morning. Uh, first of all, my apology for logging in a little late, but what I can just say is that each and every one of us that is already a member of 
Writers Guild and those who are thinking of becoming members within us, there is a, a gift that God has given us to express and to communicate and to tell stories that can influence and change and touch people's lives, especially the times that we are in. So um, this would be a great opportunity for us to press in and discipline ourselves and sacrifice and you know, dream on and write the stories that will transform lives. Writing is not just about us trying to become rich and famous. It's about telling a story that others can remember and take pleasure and joy in. So with God's help, I believe that if we purpose to press in this year and the years beyond, we shall achieve great things and tell stories that will touch people's lives. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paula. Um, Ron Wafula. Um, personally, um, I'm really excited to join a community of writers because for the longest time, that's what I've been missing. And uh, I'm looking forward to also being of service to the community itself because uh, the relationship has to be symbiotic. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to be here and I'm looking forward to all the ways that we can help each other. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ron. Um, Mark, if you are able to speak now, Uh, hello? Yes, we are say, yes, we are saying the final uh, one sentence so that we can close the meeting. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, I would like to thank everyone who, who was involved in the process of, uh, of founding uh, Writers Guild Kenya organization because there is no such organization that I know of in Africa that is involved in growing writers. Uh, and you will be creating a very big impact uh, in growing writers into whatever they want to become uh, in Africa region itself. And that will bring much impact in the world. And um, I'm excited to be part of, uh, of this organization so that I can also achieve my, my dream as you help me grow. Yes, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you all for attending this meeting. And we look forward to learning and growing together with you all so that when we look back to this, we'll be able to say we've come this far. Um, Gabriel, as our founder, um, you can say the final word, then we close the meeting. Thank you very much, Patricia, and thank you all for coming. My last words will be welcome to Writers Guild uh, and welcome to service and love. <laughs> a very joyful way to live. So karibuni uh, sana. Uh, we will communicate on the next steps and then we join formally and hopefully towards the end of January when we will have the welcoming session for all our new members joining in January. I hope we will meet physically and we will have a good time together. So karibuni sana writers guild. Welcome to love and service. Thank you so much. The meeting is over now. You can leave at your own pleasure. And should there be any question, you are free to contact Shaitas Guild Kenya. Sante Nisana. Thank you, Patricia. So it was a pleasure meeting all of you guys. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>